This school deserves better than you. What the hell is going on? The defendant is not wearing any pants. I want you to remember something, okay? If you lose, it destroys you. Football is well underway. The Emmys are handed out and done last night, and the new fall TV season is about to debut tonight. So with other a dozen new shows hitting the big four over the next couple of weeks, programming real estate for the networks and viewers is a buyer's market, you could say. And I do. As we kick off the first of our multi-pronged probes into the shows, you have to watch this premiere week and tonight. Now, there are some delightfully deceptive comedies out there, like CBS's Walton Goggins led the Unicorn and the discerning second blackish spin-off of sorts, Mixedish from ABC. However, drama is the primary coin of the primetime realm, and so that's what we're putting on the table this week. Our first batch brings us Ryan Murphy, Brad Fulchuk, and Ian Brennan's September 27th launching The Politician, with Tony winner Ben Platt and Oscar winners Gwyneth Paltrow and Jessica Lange. Plus, there's Fox's Michael Sheen and Tom Paine-led Prodigal Son, CBS's Simone Missick-fronted All Rise, and NBC's Jimmy Smits and Caitlin McGee starring Bluff City Law, with the last trio all premiering tonight. Your Honor, rule number one, avoid trials. Save those for the important stuff. I've been in court before. I know how this works. You think you know, but you don't. Not yet. It's not too late for you to back out. You hate judges. No, you hate judges. You still think most of them are out of touch with the real world. Because none of them look like me. Also, I get my own parking. Now, in a new season of lots of legal dramas, the latest return of Smith to his old West Wing stomping ground of NBC and Bluff City Law has father and daughter lawyers working together in the aftermath of the death of a beloved wife and mother seems to have forgotten that viewers have actually seen legal dramas before. And the moral arc of the good fight, no pun intended, what they get here is tired and overwritten, over and over. Starting off with a novel premise, which is a qualified statement nowadays with network drama, of an out-of-the-box attorney raised suddenly to the bench and the bends that that entails for herself, her cases, and the justice system, CBS's All Rise soon sadly falls flat. It's not that Luke Cage alum Simone Missick isn't up to the task, it's rather that the task isn't up to her, and sputters from truly putting the old white boy network on notice to going into more of the same old, same old. I'm running for student body president. That is why I'm proud to introduce my running mate today, Infinity Jackson! She already has an 80% approval rating. And a fan account on Instagram. So evidently there's a videotape with some footage of you using an offensive gay slur. Do you have any idea what I might be referring to? Do you have any idea what time it is? Shut up, ma'am. I'm not going to take your bullshit tonight, okay? As the first launch in Ryan Murphy's Mega Millions deal and Mega Series deal with Netflix, the politician and his ambitious lead played by being Evan Hansen vet Ben Platt lacks depth, nuance, and even the sly sheen the American horror story Bosch usually brings to his offerings, love them or not. Though the final episode of The Algorithm in Action offers the promise of better things in a future season, with the introductions of Transparent's Judith Light, The Divine Bet Midler, A Winning Ticket, A Devil's Triangle, and some Empire State Stakes, most of the eight-episode first season of Platt's well-heeled Santa Barbara teen who has calibrated plans to make the White House vacillates between being the grad school version of the final season of Glee or Wes Anderson for people who've never seen a Wes Anderson film. Which is unfortunately fitting as World Tannenbaum star Gwyneth Paltrow mocks part of her goofy self as a holistically quirky mother to Platt's intentionally annoying and Billy Joel loving character. Why did you kill all those people? We can figure it out. Together. Gil? What are you doing here? I need a profiler. Come on. You know the FBI fired me, right? Good thing I'm NYPD. Maybe let's not mention that your dad's a serial killer. My lips are sealed. So, with the politician clearly not getting my vote this week, that makes Prodigal Son one of the shows you need to watch this premiere week, and certainly tonight. Very, very violent and vivid in a way that barely perched on cable back in the Dexter heyday. There's a pretty blood spattering procedural skimming this Michael Sheen, Tom Payne, scandal vet Bellamy Young, and Lou Diamond Phillips fueled Chris Fedek and Sam Scullaba created romp of an imprisoned and scholastic serial killer gang pressed into service by his tormented and ex FBI profiler's son. Far, far away from the days when he was called on for his best Tony Blair. And similar to the fun that he actually had in The Good Fight's most recent season, Sheen has torn off some of his fellow Welshman Anthony Hopkins' Hannibal Lecter and let it rip here. Add to that Young is his upper crust ex-wife still fighting the scandal of his murderous deeds and more, and Payne allowed to flex many, many more muscles than he ever did on The Walking Dead, some of them tied down, I might add. And you have, at least from what I've seen, real possibilities for a really good time and a very dark underbelly, or gallows humor galore. So, in a week where we'll be offering up some chewable choices today and otherwise, 
hear behind the procedural and check out Prodigal Son tonight on Fox. It's one of the shows to watch this season.